You can do many things with the Uploads tool beyond just uploading an email list. In this video tutorial, we will go over advanced uploads, what those little checkboxes mean at the bottom of the Uploads page, how to overwrite custom field data, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and delete activists via Upload. In most uploads, you won't use any of these options. A couple things before we get started. First, please note that uploads are a feature that we reserve for our partners, so if you're interested in getting access to this and any of our other partner features, please visit actionnetwork.org partnerships. Second, be really careful with these advanced upload features. They cannot be undone, so make sure to choose them really carefully, if at all. To begin, we'll go to the Start Organizing menu and click Uploads. Then choose the list you're working from, from the drop-down menu. And then click to add a new upload. A box with these instructions will pop up and you'll see the three different types of uploads that we offer. Uploading by email, uploading by unique ID, and uploading transactions. For this video, we'll just go over uploading by email just to cover the basics. But these features are the same for uploading by unique ID, and uploading transactions are a bit different. You can watch those video tutorials at help.actionnetwork.org. So at the top of each tab, you will see this click here for a sample file. You can download that to see how to format your file for uploads, and I encourage you to take a look at it for every type. When you're ready to add your list, click to browse for a file. and then you'll give your upload file a name. This name will show up in all of our targeting systems, so when you're doing targeting later for an email or a report, you can select this upload. So make sure to give it a relevant name so it's clearly labeled for future actions. You can click to select tags that you've already created, or create a new tag by clicking that green plus button. Below that, you can optionally click a start time for your upload if you don't want it to start right away. Please note that all of the times are in U.S. Eastern time. And below that, you'll see these checkboxes for advanced uploads. These are important and should be chosen really carefully, if at all. Note that you will only be able to see these checkboxes if your group gave you the advanced upload administrator permission. If you don't see these checkboxes, contact your group administrator and ask that they give you the advanced upload permission. Now let's go over what these checkboxes mean. This first one overwrites activist data. Our system automatically prioritizes the information that an activist gives us on forms, petitions, or any other action. So by default, if you have a form where an activist fills out a different address than the one you're uploading right now, we'll assign the address that the activist gives us over the one that you're uploading. We do this because the information that the activist provides us is usually more accurate and trustworthy. But if you're 100% sure that the information you're uploading is correct and up to date, you can check this checkbox and the information in the upload will be given priority. There is no way to undo this and get that old data back, so make sure you're really confident with this information before you do the upload. This next checkbox is to clear blank values. We will not blank out any data we have on a matching activist, even if the corresponding field is blank in your file. For example, if you only have email addresses in this upload for the file, but your activist has previously signed a petition where they included their first name, we'll keep their first name on the activist record by default, since it's just more information for you. But if you check this box, the system will delete the first name value on their record. So be really careful with this because you can automatically mass delete information. This also cannot be undone. This next checkbox will resubscribe activists who have previously unsubscribed. By default, we will not resubscribe activists if they've unsubscribed before, even if they are in this upload. But this checkbox will override that. If someone has unsubscribed from your mailing list but lets you know that they want to be resubscribed, you can do that by uploading them and resubscribing them, or doing it on their activist record. But please be really careful with this option especially. Resubscribing people who have intentionally unsubscribed and don't want to be on your list may get your emails marked as spam and will result in the termination of your Action Network account. So please do not resubscribe people who do not want to be subscribed. 
This next checkbox will unsubscribe activists in the upload. You'll still have access to their action history, and they'll show up when you pull a report that includes folks that have unsubscribed, but you'll no longer be able to email them. This is just like the normal unsubscribe on the activist record, but lets you do it for several people at once. This final checkbox removes people from your email list as well as the database, so they're completely removed from your group. This is the only way to delete activists from your database completely. You can't undo this, so make sure that you've checked the right box, if any. Once you've gone through these advanced upload options, you can go ahead and click the blue Upload and Match Fields button. On the screen, you'll get to match the column headers with what we call our fields on the back end. The columns you provided will show up here on the left, and our fields show up here on the right. If you followed our sample file exactly and your headings match, then we'll be able to match that exactly. So for fields that already exist, you can just select it from the drop-down menu. And if your data is for a column that you don't have a field for already, you can just create a custom field right here by clicking that green Create a New Field button. We'll provide the labels for all of our core fields like first name, last name, email address, street address, zip code, city, and state, so it's all standardized and going to the same spot in our system. When you're done, just click the blue Finish Upload button. And that brings you to a list of all of your uploads. Here, you'll see the date that the upload was completed on, as well as the number of activists that were in the list in total, and the number of new activists on your list. The number may not show up right away, it will keep counting up until it reaches the total number of folks that you uploaded. In this row, you'll also see the X button. This will unsubscribe and delete everyone you've uploaded in this file. It works the same way as that checkbox we looked at earlier, but here you can delete everyone in the upload or just the folks that are new. This next button, this down arrow, will let you download your list so you can see it again. It will download as a CSV just the way you uploaded it. And your last option here is to hide this list by clicking the I button. This doesn't delete the upload, it just makes it invisible on this list. You won't be able to target it in emails or uploads, but you're not hiding any of the activists. If you want to make it visible again, then you can just click this red View Hidden Items and restore the file to view. And that's all we have for advanced uploads. For more information on this or any of our other features, please visit our help documents and other video tutorials at help.actionnetwork.org.